have a question for you. Wait, what happened? Why is it dark? Whew, the light's back. I can see again. It's really hard to do things when you can't see. So I want to talk to you about something known as indirect costs. Have you ever heard of that before? This is something that has made the news a lot recently related to federal funding for scientific research. The federal government wants to start using what is a flat percentage, the same percentage, regardless of institution or type of grant. This has led to a lot of concern in the scientific community because it seems like people don't understand what indirect costs actually cover. So let's talk about it. So normally when a grant is awarded, there is part of the budget that goes to a breakdown of all the supplies, the salary that are needed directly for the experiments for that project. But then on top of it, there are other things that go into doing research, like lights. You can't do scientific research in the dark. You need electricity. You need a space to do it in, facility fees. You need equipment that is maintained. Somebody has to be doing that maintenance. You need staff to support the research. All of that is considered indirect cost, but it's essential for doing the actual scientific research. Without it, the whole scientific system will suffer. This is why people are worried about this potential cut to indirect funding, which is also happening at a time when the budget for scientific research is being threatened and when grants are being canceled. So next time you hear somebody talk about indirect cost, if they say that they're not important, remind them about how hard it is to navigate the house when there's no power. It's really hard, right? Same is true for doing scientific research without indirect costs.